on this stage in 1973, I was on a chair. Yeah, I was a woman. I was a clean comic then, yeah. She had to use the gents' toilet. That's why she opened up with, I'm walking in men's piss. <laughs> well, that's the last clean joke I'm telling, so you can fuck off. <laughs> we'll have a good time, aren't we? Yeah. I'm on here a long time, so don't get bored. I hope. <laughs> I've been sat reading the paper. Oh, the Partridge family are upset, aren't they? Oh, <laughs> David Cassidy. Didn't live as long as his fucking dad did he hop along. <laughs> or his uncle Butch. <laughs> Said, well, he died with, with all the things around him that he loved. Bottle of whiskey, cocaine. <laughs> hey, we've lost some stars. Well, we've lost a lot of people. We lost uh, you, Hefner. He's seen more cunts in the house as a apartment. <laughs> Die Hard 3. <laughs> You'll get it when you get home, you thick twats. Yeah. In Germany this morning, another tiger has eaten a zookeeper. They say they can't bury him till it's had a shit. <laughs> Some young boy swallowed a load of Lego. He'll be shitting bricks now, won't he? Argentinian submarines got missing. 45 blokes, one woman. Who was fucking driving? <laughs> She's in the paper this morning, Cheryl with a new baby bear. Who calls a fucking kid bear? Does that mean she has to take it in the woods for a shit? <laughs> Look to me, Daddy, we had said Dagenham, and I've, I've always done well here, and I come, I came through the tunnel, just come to the roundabout, I went, oh, look. So a woman's body lying in an alleyway. I rang the police. I said, how did you find us here? I said, well, I think Rigor Mortis is set in because they're asking the funny we're dead tight. <laughs> Fuck's a fuck. <laughs> Oscar Victorious today got his sentence doubled, right? Whew, I mean, it, obviously that was going to happen. He'd have a fucking leg to stand on. <laughs> no knee jerk reaction from him there. <laughs> Makes me laugh. I think Christmas morning when Heather Mills gets up and goes, Oh, not another fucking sock. <laughs> fucking world we live in now, eh? Hey, I don't know. So, since, uh, you know, uh, if, I, if I offend anybody in any shape, way, or form of my material, come and see me later on and I'll fucking offend you again. <laughs> I live on one of them rough estates, you know what I mean? Oh, I think the Mexican cartel's moved in. You can get any fucking drug you want on our estate now. I was talking to a girl, yes, yes, she was higher than a fucking giraffe on stilts. <laughs> you see the two girls eating them kangaroos' testicles? <laughs> Man, that was all right for the girls. They used to having balls in their mouths. <laughs> Have you noticed they don't ask him to go into the bare grills? Because there'll be fuck all left eating if they go. <laughs> This room, but I've been in bigger women. <laughs> we sat watching the telly there, uh, the chairs were Bradley Walsh. I'd have lost all the fucking money. He said, Name a Chinese fruit that starts with G. I said, Gok Wang. Tell me last night. Welcome. Some pussy in this town, I'm in fucking hell. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> I went out there, it was a Tuesday, it was Halloween night. I knew it was Halloween night because I ordered a pint and I was local, there was no fucking head on it. <laughs> I'd been in the house about half past seven, there was a knock on the door and I opened it, there was three kids stood there. Oh, the scariest fucking thing. When one of them said, we believe you're our dad. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Did you get the paper this morning? Oh, in Australia now, you know, that uh, it's legal for same-sex marriage, yeah? Ben bastards. <laughs> the Bill Gardner's. Fudge packers. <laughs> Ass bandits. The thing is, if them two fuckers weren't allowed to get married, they wouldn't have made to adopt that little girl that they've just battered to death. It fucking annoys me, the fucking cunts. I think you'll agree with me. Like Australia sitting sleep with who you like now. A bit late for fucking Rolf Harris, isn't it? <laughs>
<laughs> 20 years ago. I'm always looking at the paper. So I was looking at one poison arrangement with Andy Freeze. Probably tried to get him going in the morning. <laughs> Still on about the Queen hiding the money. How can the Queen hide the fucking money? A photograph's on every fucking pound note. <laughs> and have you seen the fucking house she lives in? It's like a palace. <laughs> Now, I mean, Prince Philip then, he retired it. World 96. Lazy cunt. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. I've, you know, my wife put me on that fucking slimmer's world. No, no bread, no chips, no cakes, no biscuits. You know what's going to say on my gravestone? This man died of fuck all. I had explained to my wife that. Uh, Comic relief isn't whacking off a clown. <laughs> you see, watching the TV and they said, uh, Welcome to Nigeria. This is Mabutu la Tutu la Fak Tubu. I'm not fucking laughing. Mabutu la Tutu has a hump on his back, one arm, one leg. And the leg he has has got no toes on it. Mabutu la Tutu la Tutu. Has to get up every morning at 5.30 and pedal 10 miles on his bicycle. His bicycle has one pedal. No tyres, it doesn't have a bell. Has to pedal off ploughed fields. But for £2 a month, we'll send you the DVD. It's fucking hilarious! <laughs> Who gives a flying fuck? What you gonna sing? If I had a hammer. <laughs> I've got you under the bin. I've left some parts behind the bike shed. <laughs> I'm a good dad. No, uh, what women do find this out of a lead, but I was an ugly baby. <laughs> The incubator had to have fucking tinted windows. <laughs> your mum and dad give me alphabet soup, I look in the dishes spelled fuck off. <laughs> I had to make me up way home from the fucking maternity hospital. I was 16 pound 8 ounces, girls. In fact, when the doctor delivered me, he left his end there, he thought there was a train coming. I was that fucking fat. Was standing room only in my playpen. <laughs> yeah. Not the best fucking baby in the world. And I, had, I, had, I had a family, obviously. And my, my father, tight as a fucking duck's ass, my father. I always remember him saying, Thank fuck Christmas only comes round every five years. <laughs> One day I said, How do you turn this electric bread knife off? He said, Grab the blade, you little cunt. <laughs> Yes, when I was born, eh, hey, my mother, my mother had a feet in the stirrups, and all the nurses were throwing fucking money in making a wish. <laughs> that to shave a fanny because it was like the welcome mat at the fucking garden centre. <laughs> the woman in the next bed, her husband was the manager of Burger King. He took one look at my fucking mother, and he named the burger after her, the Whopper. You will love your girls, but you are fucking funny. Have you ever looked at a fucking fanny and bought funny? <laughs> Does it look like a Cornish pasty? <laughs> <laughs> These women don't mind you licking the fannies, but they won't tell you where they've hit the kipper. Will they? <laughs> uh, I don't get a lot of pussy. Get a little bit now and again. Well, black I've been a black pussy since 1985. <laughs> if you can't get a fuck there, you're an ugly bastard. <laughs> Still there now. <laughs> you haven't seen your fucking size of her now, God. <sighs> Get between the legs, it's like having a threesome. <laughs> it takes three of us to fucking cuddle her. She said, I'm going out with the girls on Friday night. I said, Well, wear your eye and shoes. I don't want your ass and tits scraping along the flanks. <laughs> She has a horse tattooed on her hip. It's 18 fucking hands, huh? <laughs> She 
said, I can't help it if I retain water. I said, you retain fucking cakes. <laughs> she was restless in bed night before last. She must have left some biscuits in the place. <laughs> she, she makes me freaking out. Fat bastard she is. So, I'd sooner fuck her than challenge you to a game of two of war. He then with the days of the 40s. See, you, a lot of humans now don't realise how high it was. We, we, my mum and dad used to get my clothes from the Army and Navy stores. I went to school dressed as fucking Arthur Law. <laughs> I love you people here, you know, you, you drink. I've been on here at least 10 minutes now, let me stab once. <laughs> it's time, yeah, you fat cup. <laughs> Zip. Well, I fucked a few monsters, on me. <laughs> She's in. <laughs> Mouth and funny, same size. <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't get a fucking answer out of me. I mean, in the past, don't forget me, when I first met my wife, oh, gee. I remember her saying to me, you're one in a million. I thought, how much cock was she at? <laughs> I'm a bit of porn, you know, that's why my phone bill is 800 pounds. <laughs> well, I ran this line, the girl fucking stood. <laughs> yeah. At the time she told me what to do, my wrist had fell asleep. <laughs> the wife's having a bit of women's trouble, you know what I mean? Can't reverse the car, doesn't know the offside rule. <laughs> You know what it's like when you're married. I've, I've had four wives, that's why I've got a fucking pot to piss in. It's a fucking thing I've got now. Oh. I'm trying to get her to join Islam, you know, so she can hide her fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's in the chat at the moment, rag and bone man. Fucking liar, he's not a proper rag and bone man. Couldn't get rid of a fucking fridge off our lawn. <laughs> I walked in the house and the dog jumped up, you know, it's my dog. He was licking me face and kissing me. I went, could you put a good, 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 She went, oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck you doing? She's probably been pissing up some empty clear crates at the back of the pub, licking and stiffing some bitch's ass. I said, I love him. She said, I'm talking to the fucking dog. 